Hi out there in YouTube land. Um, today I want to talk about pocket altars. Now, I usually carry a pocket altar with me wherever I go, usually in my purse or my backpack, and sometimes if I'm hiking, I just throw them in my pocket. So pocket altars are just that. They're little mini altar kits that you can throw in a pocket or in a bag, and I make mine out of tins. So the first two I have here are just gift card tins, and I like them because, you know, they're already decorated. Um, you could also decorate these yourself, but I bought mine um, fully decorated. And this gift card tin, um, I got it like Michael's, and I think gift card tins are like, you know, under $3, so pretty cheap to get a nice pretty tin. This one, and I like it because it has stars and it's green and pretty, I got it Peebles, and it was just, you know, under $3. And then this one, it's actually an Altoids box, but I put it in this little kind of like change purse baggie, um, just so that, you know, just to be decorative. So, um, pocket altars, you know, the, the best ones actually fit in a pocket, but your definition of pocket, you know, might be a cargo pocket, so a big one, or, you know, regular jeans pocket, or, you know, like skinny jeans. So, choice is up to you. And what I thought I'd do is I would just kind of go through the contents of these little mini pocket altars and share with you, and um, we would go from there. And if I have time at the end of the video, um, I'd like to assemble one together. So here's some ideas for what to put in your pocket altar. I'm going to set this down so I can open this, and this probably won't be the most exciting portion of the video, but I'm opening up my pocket altar. And ooh, let's see what's in it. Okay. So, I like to make my pocket altars, I'm going to move it down here. I like to make my pocket altars so that they, um, they're like ready to go. So I make mine kind of generic. But you could certainly make, like, create an altar for a specific ritual and then just take it with you wherever you're going. But I like to be able to do ritual on the fly if I need to. So, here's what I have in this little pocket altar. I have a little broom, little besom for clearing the space. And I got this at Michael's in the scrapbooking section and I think it came in a pack of three. And this is a little vial of water. This is actually from a, a place that's very special to me. And a little vial of clove oil. I like to wear clove oil in ritual. Just kind of, I feel like, awakens my senses. An empty vial in case I'm in a place that I feel good vibrations in and I want to collect soil or water or herbs an acorn from a ritual I had done with this altar, um, a little taper candle. These are um, pagan prayer beads that I made, and I'll show you real quick how they work. The bottom actually has a vial that fits onto this cork, um, and I would use this as a collection vial if doing ritual I found something that I would want to collect. Um, and if necessary, I would seal it, but sometimes I take things out of there. So the first little set of beads, that's kind of hard to see because they're clear, but the first little set is you announcing your magical name and announcing yourself and your um, intention to enter the ritual space. This little star is for casting the circle. Then there's five groupings of beads, one, two, three, four, five, and I bet you guessed it, that's for casting the circle. And then these three groupings of beads are stating your intention, um, focusing your energy and raising energy, and then releasing energy. So this is your actual ritual practice. And then there's a grouping of five for releasing the quarters, uncast your circle, and walk from the ritual space with gratitude. And so those are my, my pagan prayer beads, and I keep them in there. Um, this is the pocket altar I use the most, so it's the one that's the most stocked. This is a viewfinder, and sometimes when I'm having trouble focusing, I'll pull this out, and it's just a little metal picture frame. I also got this in the scrapbooking section at Michael's, and the viewfinder helps me focus on maybe just my candle, or just one word, like harmony. So if I'm having trouble and my, my brain's too scattered, I can focus in on just one little thing, one little thing, and, you know, maybe my you know, focus, like maybe my ritual is about, you know, small steps becoming big steps. So inside of an acorn is a mighty oak. So even mixed into, or an entire oak forest, or an entire forest, I think is the phrase, inside of one acorn is an entire forest. So there's my acorn, it's amongst a bunch of other stuff, 
and then I use my viewfinder and there it is. Finally in my pocket altar is a little book of incense matches. I like incense matches because they light my candles and they also provide the scent of incense and um, they are, they don't burn a lot, like they don't make a lot of smoke, but enough so that you get the scent. So that's pocket altar number one. So pocket altar number two, we'll pull this one down. Pocket altar number two. Ah, these are business cards that I keep in here. And the reason why they look so like tie dye is because the candles I have in here have dyed them, but they're so pretty. Um, I kind of, you can almost scry with these. But I, the initial purpose was if for writing and for writing things down in ritual. So that's why I have those in there. Incense matches. Um, a little candle holder. Some more mini tapers. Little teeny tiny color pencils. But you could also use like small markers or something like that. A small pen. A sachet of lavender. Um, a little vial of amethyst stones. There's some little citrine stones kicking around down here. A vial of salt and some river stones. So that's what's in altar kit number two. Shoop, shoop. Okay, altar kit number three is going to be similar to altar kit number two and number one. So we have our business cards. This is the Altoid tin. So all these ritual things you can fit in an Altoid tin. Um, cards, incense matches. These happen to be frankincense. A tea light. Tea lights are a little bit better for the um, Altoid tins. A black feather. I think my um, intention with this one was protection, so there's a lot of like black in here um, for cleansing space. Um, tiger's eye, salt, um, other crystals. So pretty much similar to what you've seen in the other ones. So let's put one together since we have the time. Okay. I have a little Altoid tin here ready to go. And I have these little mini markers that you saw in the um, Book of Shadow Crafting um, video. So I'll just pull a couple out of here and place them in my Altoid tin. They fit just perfect. And then these are actually birthday candles. So something to think about. And these are called Color Flame Candles. And I got them at the grocery store, and they actually, they, the flames are actual colors. So, like, this one burns purple, and this one burns green. So, I'm going to put a few of them in here. A little purple one, a little green one. And actually, you could probably fit all of those in here if you wanted to. So, if you're really into candle magic and, like, color correspondences, that might be for you. And they come with these little individual candle holders, which are great because if you were doing ritual outside... You could just stick these in the ground and you would have a candle, you know, a place to hold your candles automatically. Or you could always like have a little cup of salt and put these in there. So I'll throw a couple of those in there. I have a vial and I could fill this with salt or water, but um, we'll just have that be a placeholder for the purposes of this demonstration. Um, again, there are um, votives you can do, little mini tapers. Um, Let's see, maybe we'll put a stone in here. Ooh, why don't I pull out one of these little bags for now, and then I can put some stones in here later. This is a little paper labyrinth for meditation, so I think I'll fold that. And almost fits, maybe have to fold it into quarters. And I'll put that right in the corner there, hooray. And let's see, mm, bay leaves. So maybe I'll put a couple in here, or I could put them in my little bag, but I was saving my little baggie for some stones. And here's a really great way to get stones, guys. Get them in, like, Michael's, or get them in a craft store, and they come in, like, you know, like beads. You can get gemstones in beads, and they're, like, really cheap. So I'm going to put them in my little baggie, put my baggie in here, and then... Package everything up. Make sure it all fits. You might have to do some editing or some jostling around. And cover this up. I could cover this in fabric. I could cover it in polymer clay. 
Um, I could paint it, but I'd have to sand it down to get paint to stick to it. I would recommend acrylic paint for this or spray paint. So everybody, that's pocket altars, little mini to-go altars. And I hope you enjoyed and blessed be.